Good morning, YouTube. Rigor here from Rigor's Garage and Boat Basin. Uh, today we're doing episode 10 on the Grady White. Um, what I'm doing is, uh, now that I got the uh, CUSA board on the transom, going to start uh, laying up uh, fiberglass on the inside. I uh, hope you enjoy this episode, and if you do, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Well, I got a problem here. I've noticed water builds up in the, the, this, this part of the bilge and doesn't drain down here. I found out there are, are small holes right here and they're plugged up. Uh, I unplugged them, but they're very small holes and obviously they're prone to plugging up. So I'm gonna take this hole saw and uh, drill out the size of the hole and uh, see if I can't fix the problem. Okay. Fix that. Now what I'm going to do is put this in uh, a piece uh, here to, to uh, protect the wood inside. Mark this and then I will take and epoxy it in. Wood looks good. Doesn't appear to be rotted. It's nice and solid. Okay, let me do the other side.
Okay, so uh, further work on the, the transom. One of the things I did was put a uh, um, place for the water to flow uh, on the inside stringer so it comes into the bilge here. And uh, what I did was I uh, basically took a hole saw, uh, cut out the, uh, the stringer, examined the wood, made sure uh, we didn't have any rot and the wood was good and solid, which it was. And um, then I inserted, uh, if you can see here, I inserted uh, PVC. Uh, basically, I cleaned it with uh, acetone to make it sticky and then I put um, some of the FGCI uh, super epoxy uh, around it. You can see the, the yellowish color. That's the, the super epoxy. Uh, see some more of it up here. Uh, what the super epoxy is, is it's a pre-thickened uh, uh, part A resin and a pre-thickened uh, part B uh, catalyst and uh, what it does is uh, you know it's about the the same cost as uh, the, the resin by itself so next steps are to put uh, around the edges here Taken, uh, put uh, uh, fillets around all of the edges where this comes in contact with the boat. So that's on on three sides. I'm going to put in uh, little fillets with some. Uh, again, it's uh, FGCI um, filler. It's a fillet material. It's a polyester resin um, uh, for making making fillets and I'm going to put that in all along where the transom uh, comes up to the edge of the boat. Okay, let me get back to work. I got some cleaning and uh, sanding to do and I'll bring you back when we start doing the fillets. Okay, what I'm doing is putting a fillet where the CUSA board meets the, the hull. And uh, what I'm using is a, a plumbing elbow. Seems to work. That just kind of gives the, the round over. FGCI Super Polyfill. It's a gallon can. Relatively inexpensive. Now, the, I think the gallon, when it doesn't drop off your knife here, the, the gallon's like 40 bucks or something. And you mix it up. It's a polyester uh, filler. You, uh, you mix it up and you put in the, the MEKP as the hardener. It appears to have a decent working time. Uh, we'll see here. I mixed it up about uh, 
2%. It's uh, smooth. It's it's a little bit. It's not a it's not a, a peanut butter consistency. It's a seems like it's a little thinner. seems to work relatively good to put the, uh, the radius although I'm going to have to wipe it off before it gets hard otherwise I'll lose my radius tool so there's the the one side of the, the boat. I mean, all you do is, is, is goop it on and round it off. Uh, not much uh, to it other than, other than that. exciting about uh, doing uh, coves. Let me uh, let me bring it back when I'm finished and we'll take a look at the at the results and see how it works out. Sure do need a lot of paper towels. It's kind of a messy process. Okay, now that my hands are all wiped off and I can touch the camera, uh, bring it back uh, when I'm through. Well, today has been a wonderful day of sanding. What I did, I I smoothed out the coves uh, around here. What I used was this uh, this drill, and uh, you get these little sleeves that that fit on the the mandrel, uh, and so I put that on there, and I basically go down each one of the the coves here and and smooth it out uh, other thing I used was the the random orbital sander and I used uh, 60 grit sandpaper uh, and it's like every couple of minutes I need to sit here and and change the uh, the disc on the sander. Uh, basically, what I was doing uh, 
is smoothing out on the edges where the cove is uh, uh, went on to the uh, onto the hull. Some a lot of areas on the hull are not particularly smooth. If you take a look right here, this is relatively smooth. Uh, but as you you get the last person that put fiberglass on this transom, which uh, this this was the original piece that was put in last time when there was a single engine on this boat and they were uh, if you can sit there and you can see they were they were really sloppy uh, putting on the chop strand mat although um, especially right there uh, that's where uh, where a battery goes for one of the outboards but uh, and then down here in the bilge you can see where they used um, a mat, basically like little ropes, and they laid it up onto the hull, and it made it kind of, kind of rough. And if you take a look, it's very much like that over on, on this side, where you can see the, the ropes of the fiberglass uh, uh, cloth were laid up with uh, with resin you you can see where they tied into the the hull uh, like right there they went uh, five inches in with uh, with the uh, mat cloth okay so uh, notice this video is getting a little long um, so I'm uh, what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna uh, break this this episode 10 right here now uh, pretty much all full of uh, full of fiberglass dust but uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video right here and uh, uh, it's it's already 15 to 17 minutes I don't want to get uh, just just carried on sound like I'm uh, welding a piece of heavy equipment but um, if you uh, enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye now.